Hi guys. Just a quick little vlog. Eh, all the car boot gear arrived today. And uh all been paid for. So uh I currently cannot get into my shed. <laughs> it's so full. In fact, um there's two sort of shelving units things. Um, I managed to only get one in the shed, and I've got one up on the land, and they've got to go to Mum's. My um, stepdad wanted those, um, and I don't have a use for them either. So, um, I've got all my bikes locked up outside because I've got nowhere else to put them at the moment. Not until we can uh, clear some stuff out. There's the radio I did a video on earlier. I've uh, put the back back on. I haven't put the knobs back on yet. They're um, safely up there. Um, I did have a quick look through the boxes of stuff, and I did pick a few bits out. Well, to be honest, I doubt this clock is really worth selling on my car boot anyway, is it? I mean, what would I get for it? A quid, if I'm lucky? It probably only costs something like four ninety nine new, because it... Yeah, it's an cheapy as the clock. So I doubt that was very much new, but um, it works, as you can see. I was actually considering um, doing my own little light mod on it, and perhaps try to make it light up somehow. Um, I don't know where I'm going to hang it yet. Uh, no idea what this is, but I didn't think that would be something that would sell either. It's got a lot of... Um, it's dirty. Jet Provost, Provost, T3A, T4, T5, and T4 aircraft. Safety and servicing notes. Okay, so that's what it is. By Commander of the Defence Council, Ministry of Defence. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. Again, I think this would fare better probably putting something like this on eBay because there's a lot more collectors on eBay than there would be at a car boot sale. I find that most people that tend to go to a car boot sale, at least the ones in my area, are looking for a bargain, not collectibles. You do get the odd one, um, you know, coming around and pick up the collectibles and whatnot. I hope if I actually point the camera down, wasn't won't it? I was uh, I was looking at the book and not through the camera lens. And my camera sort of drifted up. But yeah, um I've had collectible items before but uh you know they don't seem to go. So you tell people a fair price for a collectible item and uh, they don't seem to want to know because they're only after a bargain <laughs> you know something cheap or something they could probably sell themselves um Biggles mum's neighbour gave me these the other day well my stepdad took out what he wanted for his uh, model railway and I got the rest and to be honest I only really need want that one because I'm a huge Mustang fan so I don't think there's anything else in here I want, not really. Um, I will keep the little combine. Actuary, I will keep the combine. Uh, I've already got one of those, so that can stay in it. Sorry, I've got a bit too close to the camera there. But yeah, I've already got one of those as well. And I've already got one of those. Um, I will keep that aside though, because I can't remember if mine's got an intact tow bar on it or not. Um, I'll keep that one out. And the E type Jag, I'll keep that one. But uh, pretty much, that can go as it is, I think. Um, Kept the light, found the... I didn't think it had any screws, but they were in a bag underneath the, um... Light fitting itself. Uh... 
with there's another clock downstairs. But, uh, it's more of a sort of mantle clock that you would probably find in an elderly person's home. It was a nice enough looking clock, it's in good condition, but it's not the sort of clock I'd want in my own home, so that can go in the car boot. Anyway, I found these tapes, and considering they're getting hard to come by now, I figured I'd rescue them. I don't know what I've got in here, what have we got? Song songs that won the war. Okay. <laughs> Twenty golden greats of Ken Dodd. Anyone a fan of Ken Dodd? <laughs> <laughs> They'll always be in England. I've got no idea. This is the first time I'm looking at these myself. The legendary Jimmy Shand. Jimmy Shand and his band. Never even heard of him. This one looks a bit newer, this type. No, it's a recorded one. I would something, I can't read that. I'd be better off playing it, I think. What's this one? Anne Murray? What about me? What else have we got? There's another one. What about me? Anne Murray. So we've got that twice. High dynamic Emmy tape. Mm. That looks like it's one of the a blank tape. It is. And I can't see. Bloody hell! I haven't seen these in years. This is actually quite scary. So I remember when I was a kid, my mum and my dad always had cassette tapes. Side one complete. Side two. Sing, baby, sing. I ain't got. Carol King, I believe. See, I can't even remember which way around to put the bloody tape in the case. Let's try again. There we go. It's in the case. What's this one? Boots Audio Microferric C60 Cassette. <laughs> boots one. I didn't even know Boots did them. I was going by that photo on there. That's fairly old. There's a photo that does the rounds on Facebook every now and again. That's a picture of one of these and either a pen or a pencil beside it. And uh, the idea is you have to share it if you understand the connection. I think anyone my sort of age, maybe a bit younger, I'm 31, so yeah, maybe a bit younger, will um, have probably used cassette tapes at some point or seen their parents use cassette tapes and uh, know exactly what the pencil is for when the damn cassette deck decides to chew your bloody tape up Kate Bush <laughs> the whole story two more, what's this one, there's another one I don't know what was on that other one, that was another home recorded one, this one might actually be a blank one, there's nothing on the inlay card I might, there's another one here. It's that blank as well. I've got some blanks, actually. Still. Brand new in the packs. Never been opened. Nothing written. No, there's nothing on that inlay card either. Heck. Hmm. Right. Hold oh, for peace. sake, get in there. There we go. Love to get hold of some more of these. What if I should put a wanted ad on FreeCycle and see if anyone, you never know, someone might come up with them. Oh yeah, I've got a load of these. These are a load of bags and cards and... Bags and headers. Hmm. I don't know, I just thought they'd be handy. <laughs> I haven't had a good look through the card here, so. Anyone want a um, glow plug? If anyone's wondering what a glow plug in a diesel looks like, well here it is. It is basically... Hang on. It actually looks like that's a used one. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Not a clue. 
but it might still be useful to anyone. Right, I think that's about everything. I picked up some CDs that I was going to see if there's any songs on I wanted to transfer to the PC before I um, stick them on the car boot. Yeah, a few DVDs there as well that I decided to pick up. Um, yeah, but there's a hell of a lot more there than I actually thought there was when I went and had a look with Mum last night. I mean, there was loads. There's about four or five boxes. Um, and the boxes are just full of random items, really. But mostly ornaments or kitchenware or bits and bobs like that. Um, well, that's the other thing I grabbed, a single bed sheet. So I could do with another one for my bed. So as soon as I saw that and saw it was a single, I thought, that'll do. Uh, what else was there? Um, an electric garden rake. Um, no idea if it works. I presume it does. Otherwise, the um, bloke I got it from wouldn't have put it on the car boot when he was doing it. See, he used to do car boots, but he's given that up. I suppose running the um, two businesses he runs, he doesn't have time for it anymore, so that's why we've got all this car boot gear pretty cheap. Um, it's about three bags of cuddly toys, but most of those could do with a clean before we um, put them out. Or throw them out, one or the other, or donate them to charity. I'm not sure what Mum wants to do with them yet. A uh, couple of little bits of furniture. There's a little coffee table. And a little sort of um, occasional table, I think it's called. Oh, I've got that stool as well. I just thought I'd call you the stool. <laughs> There's a little wicker child's chair. Uh, like a wicker plant pot stand and whatnot. Oh, well, that's your plant pot. That reminds me. I'll go into the kitchen in a minute. There's quite a few knickknacks, really. A couple of rubber mats. Um, a big roll of some sort of fabric, foam stuff. I'm not sure exactly what it was. And a big, tall wicker basket, which I might actually pinch myself as well. <laughs> um, there was some plant pots there. Um, cause I've repotted my aloe vera there because it was in literally it was in about that much dirt in its um, in that pot because the cat kept knocking it over when he when he used to go up there he hasn't actually done it this year for some reason but he used to go up there and just look out the window um, put some nice stones in the top as well and I've given it another water but. Um, this used to dry out very quickly because, um, well, like I said, this was about, well, you can actually see the line where the dirt was. So, um, when I saw that pot there, I thought that'll do to put that in there. There's actually three separate aloe vera plants in there. There's a little one on this side. There's a big one in the middle. You might just see it. Yeah, that one there as well. And, uh, that is actually my mum's. I don't know why she don't take the bloody thing back with her. So is the orchid. It's lasted a year here, and you're only supposed to water an orchid um, once every so often, and not too much. So that's exactly what I've been doing, but I am so scared I'm going to bloody kill that. I'm surprised it's lasted a year. I'm actually surprised all these plants have lasted with me, actually. Um, cactuses are quite easy. You don't have to what, them? I paid 50p each for those cactuses from a charity shop. Was it 50p or was it a pound each? It might have been a pound each, I can't remember that. But, uh, I'm going to repot those as well. I'm going to put both cactuses in here, covered with these stones. Because all these stones came in a plant pot, just like that plant pot full, so I thought I'd have them. I've put some around the aloe vera. So, I'll fill this with some dirt and uh, I'll repot the two cactuses and yeah, I forgot about them, there's a couple of watches as well. I have no idea if they work or not. 
My, sh my shine stones in there as well, and they look like they've been varnished. So they actually, I think these ones were meant for ornamental purposes, I'm guessing, looking at those. So yeah, I don't know if that's actually a cooking tin. It probably is a cooking tin, or was a cooking tin originally. It's not going to be used as a cooking tin, it's going to be used as a cactus pot. Okay. Um, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's pretty much all I um, rescued. I'll call up my storage fee for storing all the stuff here. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Is it coming up on camera? No, I've now even lost it to the naked eye now. There was a spider crawling along a web right along there. Um, I'm hoping that came up. I can't see it now, so he's either fallen down somewhere or... No, he's gone over here, look. See him? <laughs> he's... There. Well, I don't know what you're doing, but you're not making a web right there. Where is it? There we go. I've got rid of the web. I'll piss him off now. I don't know where he fell to, he's fallen somewhere, or he's probably on the table somewhere, or, or on me, or whatever. I can handle little spiders like that. I can handle harvest spiders. It's the big ones with size 10 boots on, I don't like. I need to sort my um, sticky back trips early, because they're bloody falling off. Some of them have, though. Some haven't, some have. They've st um, stayed on the wall fine. Maybe it's because the walls a different surface and they don't like the wood surface because that's not a there's quite a coarse surface on there it's not a really smooth one um i don't know what i'm going to do with that still yet i was thinking of using it for um, when i do the christmas decks in here but uh that might be a bit too tall and a bit unstable thinking about it uh, I don't know though, I could sit at, sit on it at this desk though, because it is higher, or sits higher than that chair, so I'll have a use for it one way or another. Um, actually, I could use the stool at this desk, use this chair at the computer and get rid of this piece of crap. Preferably before I end up on the floor when I sit on it. <laughs> Mm, apparently they're scale edge strip figures. I don't know if they are or not. Little corgi. That's an ideal restoration pro um, project for someone that enjoys restoring. Old die-cast cars and apart from that. This is a budgie toys, this one. Right, uh, them few in there don't really pique my interest, I don't think. Oh yeah, I've got that to put up. Yeah, that wooden shelf there. Well, I've decided where to put it. Um, I haven't decided on that yet. So, well, hopefully, me and Mum are doing a car boot tomorrow. We both could do with a bit of cash. Um, where's it gone? My silver torch land beside the TV there, that made £3, what I put it on eBay for. I paid £1.50 for it at a car boot. See, people think I'm mad when I keep buying things like that, but I know damn well I can make money on them. Oh, dear me. I've got a bit of gears. But I know damn well if I put things like that on eBay, if they're in pretty good, good, reasonable, or great condition, that I'll, I'll be able to um, make something on them. I made an extra £1.50. So, <laughs> well chuffed. Um... It's only a small profit, but still a profit nonetheless, isn't it? I didn't lose. Um, that speedometer for the Honda Camino, that made 18 quid. Um, but the guy hasn't paid for that yet. I want him to. Oh, hello. Mum's messaged me. Oh. Okay. We got to cancel car boot. Sorry, we'll explain when I see you. Well, that's all right then. If you, if it's too much to, you know, say over Facebook, that's fine. 
Oh well. Something might have happened, I don't know. Hopefully nothing too bad, I hope. Maybe mum and stepdad have got arguing again. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know. But it's sort of left me a bit worried reading that, you know, you know what's happened. Um, but I suppose if it was anything extremely serious, she would have said on Facebook or phoned me. So, I don't think it can't be anything too bad. I've got these to put on eBay. There's a couple of more Camino parts. couple more indicators for a Camino in there as well. Oh, finally, my guts are saying you need to go poop. I haven't been yet today, which is a miracle for me. Oh, well, at least I haven't got to worry about what... Ugh. I'll try again. At least I don't have to worry about getting up early in the morning. Um, that pile of Lego has shrunk, as you can see. I spent last night sorting it all into piles, and then I'd pretty much put all the piles in the, the necessary drawers. I haven't done the hinged pieces yet. Oh, I stink. <laughs> I've got them vehicle windscreens to do, and I've just got this little pile here to do. Um, I showed my French friend this whole, a photo of this whole work area. And he was like, oh my god. Probably because this has changed, this room has changed a heck of a lot since he was last here. In fact, nothing is the same, apart from the paint on the walls, that was it. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, I've got to sand down my filler. Put a little bit more there in that spot. Um, but I did say I'm almost there, I just need a few more of these sort of little drawers. Uh, just to separate things down a bit and... I'm going to have to do these fences as well, but if you're into the Lego, then you know I've got the Lego channel soon. I'll explain more on that one. Um, what I might do is actually sit there and do a Lego video after this. Anyway, I've hit the, just over the 20 minute mark, so I'm going to end the video. Video, oh, I don't know what happened there. Um, I swear my voice has got a mind of its own sometimes. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.